Now, next thing I want to do is draw from this book, uh, the Bhagavata Purana, Sacred Text and Living Tradition, some of the themes which we have drawn out of the Bhagavatam. Uh, and I should perhaps note that these are different themes from what you will find in chapter 10 of Canto 2 in the beginning, Atasarga Visargas Cha. Uh, stanam Poshnam Uttaya. We'll be discussing that list of ten subjects as well. Uh, but here we are, uh, if you like, inventing our own themes. And uh, we are dividing these into two groups. One we call the world of the Bhagavata, and the second we call the Bhagavata in the world. Uh, the world of the Bhagavata is the more internally directed uh, aspect where we're paying attention to themes that we find within the text, such as dharma and bhakti uh, and the question um, invariably should come up, uh, what is the relation between these two? Uh, certainly both of them are very important in the Bhagavata. Then also renunciation and bhakti, how are they related? There seems to be a lot of uh, attention to the idea of renunciation, asceticism, and so on. And then uh, what I'm calling time's multiple dimensions leading to timelessness. Uh, the awareness of time in the Bhagavatam leading to going beyond time is an interesting subject. And then the subject of action uh, in its broadest sense. Karma can mean simply action, but we know that there is another sort of action and that is called lila. Uh, and we might say that the one is replaced by the other. Um, the Bhagavatam is, of course, a didactic work, and as such, it is teaching us how to transform karma into a participation in Leela by a process of uh, hearing Leela, hearing the Bhagavatam. Also, we find in the Bhagavatam an attention to the realities of this world, including uh, and especially human weakness. And then the counterpart of human weakness, we might say, is divine grace. Uh, what do we do in the face of human weakness? We give up? No. We, uh, we anticipate, we hope for, we pray for, we uh, uh, direct our lives toward receiving divine grace. An interesting uh, theme that sort of works its way through the Bhagavatam is the nature of speech, uh, how speech is powerful, uh, it, is, uh, it can be beautiful, but also it can be dangerous, especially when someone is being cursed just by speaking the, the curse. It can end a person's life, it can change a person's life. And of course, the opposite of that is blessing, and cursing and blessing are important uh, aspects of speech. The Bhagavatam itself, uh, being well known as uh, excellent poetry, the verses themselves are demonstrating the beauty of speech. Uh, 